Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody. Today I'll be talking about my new offense that I'll show off within the next couple of videos. It's going to be a full ebook as I usually do, but I'm going to split it up into different parts. Every play will get a bunch of setups and every play will get one video just on its own. To make sure that I can explain everything properly and you guys have a nice overview. This will also be a playlist, so if you guys are new to this and there have been some parts that have come out already make sure to check out the playlist it's going to be linked up there and also in the description to so make sure you can see every play of this ebook now with that being said what ebook am i talking about or what offense i'm talking about the new england patriots why off trips pads formation that's what it's called but most people just call it u-trips i'm going to explain why i like it in a second but before I have to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. You don't even understand how much it helps small YouTubers if you just take the time out of your day to subscribe. If you don't want to miss the rest of the scheme, I can really recommend a subscription. It's free. You can cancel it anytime. I just encourage you to try it out. And I'm sure that my content is going to be something you want to watch. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about YouTubes. And I'll talk about the play that kind of makes this formation work in my opinion. I'm going to talk about y option wheel the first thing however we have to make sure is we have to make sure that we have the right personnel on the field now what does that mean depends if you're an ultimate team there are very fast tight ends out there that are pretty much as good as wide receivers right now at the tight end position but if you're playing regular teams that might not be that fast of a tight end in your offense or like on your roster and that means that you have to be kind of flexible now we're gonna go to the fullback wing package right here and then we're gonna go to the roster in the game press options we'll go to depth chart and then on the offensive side of the ball we will go to fullback and put a running back in at fullback number one right there it's Cameron Braid we don't want that we want Leonard Fournette he has 92 speed he is very fast so that's why we want to put him right there and now if you go back to the lineup screen you will actually see as I go to you trips oh, my bad uh, you see number 28, that's not a tight end's number, that's not a fullback's number, that's a running back's number. Leonard Fournette is right now in the spot that we want him at. Now on defense, it really depends. My bad, I just clicked uh, random play. Let me not do that again. It depends on what zone drops my opponent is running. But most people will go for 30-yard curl flats, uh, 20-yard curl flats, and 5-yard flats. That's what they usually go for. And they come in and cover three. Cover three is the most popular defense right now. And this play is especially good at attacking cover three. First setup is very easy. It is kind of the setup that you can just run. And a lot of people are going to struggle with stopping it. You're going to put Brown on a flat. You want to put uh, uh, Fournette on a curl. want to put Goodwin on a hitch. And want to put Evans on a smoke screen. Pretty simple. You're going to read the left side first. Because the left side is generally going to be the one uh, that your opponent is going to use. If you see your opponent dashing to the running back out of the backfield, then you immediately look to hit the left side of the field. Throw it to the hitch or the smoke screen or the curl, depending on which one is open. I'll show you that uh, thing again. So we'll go with this setup right here. Boom. Hitch is open. And also circle is open. Really depends on what you want to throw. Just personal preference. I really like throwing that hitch. It's very nice to throw. With the throw on the outside, sometimes uh, deep zone man matches that can get weird a little bit. You have to really be sure that circle is open or else it's going to be a pick six. On the left side, it really depends on the flats as well. And if you guys saw right here, the running back was covered all the way down the field because of the deep curl flats. In that case, just throw it to the flat trout on the left side and you'll be good to go. I'm running this against our flats now so I can show you the actual throw. The throw can be... Uh, right here or if I do that same thing again I'll put uh, hard flats on the defense side of the ball if I uh, put the flat out there now I can throw that with a low pass or I can even throw that earlier if you want just be aware of the user the rear route is generally the one that user is gonna cover so be careful with that one now things are gonna get a little bit more interesting because we're gonna gonna utilize some motion and make a couple of things look Similar. I have two plays right here that use that use the same motion, and you guys will understand why it's so powerful. First of all, we're gonna put uh, a square on the flat route, just like the previous play. Then we're gonna put Fournette on a delay fade. We're gonna put Goodwin on an out route. And we're gonna motion Evans across. Now, 
if we take our time, we're gonna snap the ball right here. We can throw it to a triangle right here, or we can throw that with a low pass. Be careful with that. Sometimes the, the linebackers is gonna be a good position, but that but that that time right there, it worked out beautifully. Now it's still the same concept, but a little bit differently. Now I'm gonna put Fernet on the outright. I'm gonna put Goodwin on a slant, and I'm gonna motion Goodwin across. Same concept works very similarly, but now it looks a little bit different and that's really what this offense is all about it's all about window dressing it's about making sure that things look the same you have the same kind of motions but very different plays that's what this offense is about and this kind of sequence of plays is something that you'll be able to use very often now i'm gonna put goodman on a flat i'm gonna uh, put Fernet either on a delay fit or on an out route depending on which you which you like best and then i'm gonna motion goodman across now it's the exact same motion, but now it's a completely different play. I can now throw it to the post across the middle of the field. And now everything looks different. Well, it looks the same pre-snap, but post-snap it's very different. Kind of on a similar note, you can put uh, a circle on an in route if you want. Make sure you put Goodwin on a flat because if you just leave him on his regular flat, it's not going to flip sides when you motion him cross. Now I'm going to snap this ball again. And now we have a little bit more of a read. Now if I don't like that post look, then I can just hit it to Mike Evans on the nice and easy in route. That's pretty much all there is to say about this play. In my opinion, what really makes this play work is the fact that you can make things look the same, but they attack uh, the zones in very different kind of ways. Now, one thing that I kind of want to end off on is that this play is not the best against cover two i will say that if you're running this against cover two there's pretty much only one route that you can throw and that's that fade on the outside but in u trips what i really like is how far outside that evans guy is now if i snap the ball right here you will see how i can throw that ball very easily this gets even better if there are zone drops on the field because then if, if the flats is in the zone drop they will not bump which means that you get a free release outside and against the cover two. That is lethal. That is lethal, guys. If you uh, wanna, if you're not sure if they if they're in cover two or cover three, then make sure to run this setup. I'll show you right here. You wanna put Fournette on a delay fade. You wanna put Goodwin on a flat, and then you're just gonna motion across, and then you're gonna read the play. Okay, it's cover two. I'll just throw it to that fade route along the sideline that is kind of my last setup that i recommend you guys start the game out with just in case that you're gonna get hit up hit with the surprise coverage you still will have the chance to hit the fade on the outside now with that being said guys i really would like you to give me some feedback on this after if you have any questions of course let me know in the comments below i'm always interested in hearing your feedback also love answer answering questions love interacting with you guys i hope that this can help you there will be future parts to this obviously i've lapped uh, a lot of this up there will also be a version on my pay hip with kind of like some written down setups to make sure that you guys all have it in one uh, on one viewing but that will be something that you guys have to pay for still all the things that also on youtube are still very competitive and you will definitely be able to win some games with that being said i hope to see you in the next video and until next time peace